All right, welcome back to 6.40 a.m. The Mix, and today's video is big news coming out of New York City, and the 6.40 a.m. The Mix newsroom is right on it. On the AM broadcast band, AM radio, big announcement coming out of New York, and that's coming up next. Okay, welcome back to 6.40 a.m. The Mix. Let's get right to the news. We got lots to cover. Big news coming out of New York City on the AM broadcast band. Uh, ESPN will now move to 880 a.m. kilohertz, which has been the longtime home of WCBS uh, News Radio 880. A lot of uh, people across the Northeast and uh, across the United States, when there's good uh, uh, propagation on, on the AM broadcast band uh, can pick up this station. A lot of DXers know uh, CBS 880 coming out of New York. It's a, a benchmark to see if uh, uh, AM DXers are going to be in for a treat or not and pick up some long distance stations. So let's get right to it. The no news media is reacting to it and uh, let's get into it a little bit. Um, <clears throat> uh, WCBS News Radio 880 currently is owned by Odyssey Incorporated. Their news offices are in Hudson Square section of Lower Manhattan, while the transmitter is on High Island in the Bronx. 50,000 watts uh, on a clear channel can be heard throughout most of the eastern uh, part of the United States and eastern Canada as well. They'll be switching formats. Uh, ESPN, uh, which has been a long staple, a staple on the AM broadcast band itself on 1050 kilohertz, is now moving to 880. Uh, replacing the longtime news network with uh, sports. I'm going to have some graphics up on the screen and I'm going to put uh, uh, some of the uh, statement that was released. Um, but like I said, uh, this has been a, a long staple on the AM broadcast band. First transmitted September 20th, 1924, almost 100 years uh, to the day. Hopefully they'll survive uh, to the 100th anniversary broadcasting uh, uh, news radio WCBS 880 AM. So there, there you have it. WCBS 880 is now ending its news operation and switching over to a sports format, ESPN. Uh, they'll move to 880 on August 26th. So there's your answer. They're not going to make it to the 100-year celebration. On August 26th, they will switch formats. A dramatic twist in decades-long local sports talk radio battle with WFAN, whose parent company also owns 880 AM. So there you have it. It's a uh, battle between large corporations. Odyssey and Good Karma Brands, which owns ESPN New York, announced on Monday uh, today on this video, as I'm filming this video, that a local marketing agreement that paves the way for a surprising deal, and there's the crew uh, from ESPN there. Um, they'll, uh, they'll leave their 98.7 FM signal on August 23rd and had been slated to be relegated back to 10.50 a.m. The 8.80 a.m. signal is far stronger than 10.50, like I said, 50,000 watts on a clear frequency, and thus will provide a bigger stage uh, for the station, which is also shifting focus uh, to its digital presence. The Mets, the Knicks, are also going to be involved uh, in, the, in the move as well. Stations have been around for a long time, like I said, and even the Jets uh, are all going to be jumping on board uh, this uh, megawatt station. And there's some of the uh, actual uh, press release, uh, and some of it I've been reading to you. Uh, so let's get to uh, some commentary. First of all, first and foremost, let me play you some WCBS 880. The latest attempts to interfere uh, in U.S. elections are nothing new for the Iranian regime, which um, uh, from our can be heard 24-7, uh, clear signal, be, be, uh, be able to be picked up on uh, any type of uh, AM uh, radio, portable or not. All right, so there you have it. There's a sample of uh, News Radio 880. Now, a little bit of commentary. I think this is uh, not the right move. Uh, that's a clear frequency uh, new news and and uh, that sort of thing and weather. 
uh, is good for the public to get information, another way to get information. Uh, we're all on digital streaming nowadays. It's great to have a backup or, or your main uh, type of news gathering. Uh, this is not a good move on my part. Uh, I think uh, uh, a clear frequency like that is, for, is best for news and uh, reports like that for weather, for emergencies, and for uh, everyday people to get their news uh, uh, network uh, news updates. So, like I said, this has been happening um, in Europe. It's been happening on a daily basis on the AM and FM uh, dials of radio stations shutting down, but this one is not, obviously. It's just switching formats, uh, but I think uh, news radio, uh, weather radio is, uh, is an important uh, facet of the inf of the public getting information that's basically what i'm getting at so i don't think this is a good move i know the espn uh, sports people are gonna <laughs> differ comment below um they're gonna put espn on a uh, uh a stage uh, that they can be heard throughout the eastern half of the united states but i think that should still be for news radio for talk for weather for emergencies and a great way for the public to get their information uh, besides uh, digital and streaming and that sort of thing. Uh, like I said, uh, comment below. Tell me what you think of this big move. Almost 100 years, WCBS uh, 880 has been on the air. Different frequencies. I did a little bit of research uh, before putting this out. Uh, they have uh, different spots on the AM band, but they settled on uh, on 880 AM, I think in the 60s. I think maybe uh, 65 or something like that. They settled on 880. I could be wrong. Historians, come forth, comment below. Tell me what you think of this uh, uh, really surprise move. Came out of nowhere. Uh, the fact that... Um, that such a staple on the AM broadcast band, CBS uh, 880, is just synonymous with uh, with AM broadcast news and weather and talk uh, and sports as well. They have everything, so I think it's a shame that they're switching over to uh, switching over to uh, uh, strictly just a sports format on such a wide uh, stage. Uh, there's a lot of right there. There's a lot of uh, media reaction. Uh, 648 in the mix is uh, is also getting in the mix. Uh, we're gonna try and steal some of that share left behind by uh, by 880. But all kidding aside, like I said, I don't think this is a good move. I think uh, a stage like that is better served for the public um, with news, uh, politics, weather, emergencies. Uh, that sort of thing uh, for the public, I think, is much more important than strictly just sports. Uh, 880 had its share of sports as well. It had everything. Uh, and like I said, on a clear frequency, that uh, message uh, of information gets out to such a wide range um, of population in the U.S. and in Canada. And even on a good day can be heard at times in the Caribbean. So that's the uh, megawatt, 50,000 watt megawatt station coming out of the Bronx uh, um, so that is a shame. So there you have it. Uh, WCBS uh, 880 uh, kilohertz on the AM broadcast band out of New York City will cease operation at the end of the month. And uh, this was just announced today. I'm, uh, I'm uh, recording this video and I'll get it out as soon as I can. So comment below. Tell me what you think and what's the future of AM. That's a good discussion right there. Let's start off with that. What is the future of AM broadcast as it is shifting and, and uh, fighting for its own little uh, niche in this uh, digital world? What you think is the future of AM broadcast? I think, uh, for me personally, I think they should open up a segment of the AM broadcast band for uh, personal uh, low power type of um, type of broadcast like we do here at 6:40 a.m. the mix uh, type of FCC certified part uh, part 15 type of transmissions, but a little bit higher, uh, so we can all get our information out uh, as well. Comment below and catch us uh, next time right here on 6:40 a.m. the mix and uh, check out our wide range of uh, news and and uh, CB radios and shortwave radios and AM broadcast radio cycling and all the other topics we cover here on the channel. Comment below and uh, check us out. Catch you next time right here on 640 AM The Mix, New York's home, only home for house and techno and AM broadcast. Catch you next time, everyone.